We're joined by a legend here at half court of LaSalle College and LaSalle College High School. Lefty Irvin is with us. Yes, indeed, uh, head coach at both levels. What brings you back to campus here today to see your beloved explorers? Beloved explorers are always in my blood. Um, live in Florida now. Watching your broadcast from Florida, which is so good. I'm here to, with, to support Ryan Ansel, who was a, a player of mine throughout the younger years. And I'm so pleased for him. Uh, terrific program. Very organized. The team and... Uh, we're playing a terrific high school team tonight. <laughs> but, um, yeah, LaSalle High was a big part of my life. I taught psychology here and was the coach here. Uh, and then LaSalle University, of course. And, uh, it, was, it was a great experience. That's great. Well, Lefty, I want to ask you about what's, what's different. What's different about the gym? What's different about high school basketball? What's different about... A game of basketball some from when you were coaching to what it is today just like the pro players they're playing higher uh you know but basically the game's the same you know like LaSalle's team tonight is playing pretty good defense keeping people in front of them um so the game hasn't changed a whole lot you got you got to play defense and help a lot and and pass the ball well and you can't turn it over we're having a little few turnovers tonight here. <laughs> uh, looks like you're, you're coached at heart still. Get over there to the bench and, and, and tell those guys. Yeah. I'll hammer them. <laughs> well, you know what? A great coach is, is nothing without great assistance, and I know you had tremendous assistance over the years. You were assistant yourself at LaSalle College, and that helped you get the job here at LaSalle High School. But two assistants that of yours that we know well around here, Fran Dunphy and Joe Mahalik. Yes, uh, Joe Mihalik worked under me for many years, and Fran Dunphy was my teammate. And then I coached him with Paul Westhead, and then, of course, he was my assistant coach. On two, two different times, I hired Fran Dunphy. So he's a lifelong friend and really a great person. He is a great person and still doing a great job, Dunphy, is at LaSalle University. He sure is. They play hard and they pass the ball pretty well. You know, it's really exciting to see. Lefty, from a standpoint of your LaSalle college teams, the, the collegiate teams that you coach, had some pretty good runs at LaSalle University. Could you take us through some of those highlights? Well, I, I had Michael Brooks in 1980. We went to the NCAA tournament and lost to Purdue, uh, but he was player of the year in America and one of the great players in Big Five history. I recruited and coached a little bit Lionel Simmons. So LaSalle with Kenny Durrett before that Gola, Kenny Durrett, Michael Brooks and Lionel Simmons, that was a pretty good run of all stars. That is a pretty good run. And what do you remember specifically about coaching here at the high school level before you went to coach LaSalle College, now university uh, at that level? Well, I taught psychology, and which was really cool because uh, I gave all A's. <laughs> wow, wow, that's a good teacher. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Yes. Love Folks like love, to, love to take your class. Yeah, yeah. But uh, smart kids, uh, real dedicated, and uh, just sincere. I always felt this school was sincere in their endeavor, what they're approaching life to teach. So it was wonderful for me. You talked about supporting Ryan Ansel, who you've known for many, many years. I think the folks around here, by the way, a nearly full full house, big crowd here tonight, folks are still learning a little bit about Ryan because he's relatively new to coaching here, at least here at LaSalle in his first year. So from your vision and what you've known about Ryan his whole life, what can folks here expect to see in the coming years? I think a foundation is being built of uh, real integrity, but Ryan really knows the game. So you start there, and then you dedicate to good principles, which Ryan is doing. Uh, so he's going to build a wonderful program. They're organized, disciplined, smart at all times. Now, they're not, sometimes they don't make shots. And the turnovers tonight, you know, it's a tough, tough thing. But I think we're going to be just fine. And you come from, you know, you talk about coming from a coaching tree, playing under Bob McKillop, coaching with Landry 
Kosmowski. We talked a little bit about your coaching tree and a couple of the guys that assisted you and what they've gone on to do in their careers. What, what, what's your opinion on that in terms of what, what a coaching tree means, what you take as an assistant when you go to take your first head job? How does that process work? Well, you're always learning, aren't you? You're passing things on. You're capturing information, but integrity. You're capturing all that, and you become your own man. Ryan's going to be his own man. But he, think about his learning tree from Davidson before that uh, here in Philadelphia. Ryan's had a great experience. He's a heck of a coach. He is a heck of a coach, and, and you as well. It's really good to see you. I'm going to surprise you here. I don't know that you would remember this, but the very earliest iteration of Bob Long Sports started in 2009, and you were one of my very first interviews, actually through the Ansel family, that we did on an old kind of hold the cell phone up to uh, to our radio system set. And I wanted to tell you that I remembered that. It was a great time, and it's great to see you here more than a decade later. Well, thank you very much, Bob. Appreciate it. Lefty Irvin, our guest, a legend of LaSalle, both at the college level and the high, and the high school level. Great to see you. Thanks for being with us.